Hey there. Good morning. Welcome into your Wednesday. I'm Alexandra Lewis. Thanks for waking up with Q13 News. Let's talk about this weather and the snow that was dumped. Katie. Yeah, we saw a lot of snow. Some of these ski resorts seen about a foot of snow here within the last 24 hours. And for some, it's still snowing out there this morning. The good news is the crazy rain that we saw yesterday. A lot of that has now subsided around the at least uh, Puget Sound region. We still have a few sprinkles out there early, but a lot of this really winding down as we see a break in between systems here today and uh, into the afternoon starting to see this pick back up. We'll turn off the clouds, show you Doppler radar, and it's a little easier to see some of the snow that's still continuing to fall around the Cascades of mainly Snohomish and King County, part of Pierce County as well. In the last 24 hours, Snoqualmie Pass seen about 10, 11 inches of new snow chains have been required out there on the passes. Of course, they're still seeing some compact snow out there. And now another opportunity for a winter storm warning, not in effect currently, but popping back up in effect as we headed towards later this evening through early tomorrow morning and another wind advisory popping up on the coast as well. We're going to talk about this third storm that's approaching our area here later tonight and into your Thursday. Details on that coming up here in just a couple minutes, Alex. All right, several now. Now we're looking at round three of the precipitation. So more lowland rain, more mountain snow on the way. And at least this morning, starting off on a little quieter note for us as we get things up and underway. Uh, break from the rain. We'll call it a chance of rain today. I'm not going to rule it out, but it does look likely after about four or five o'clock. So your drive home probably impacted your early morning hours, your afternoon not going to be quite as impressive. We're in between systems and all of us looking at a much quieter conditions, uh, at least since midnight and yesterday. I don't know about you, but I was ready to build an arc. We got significant rainfall across the Puget Sound area and across especially the Olympics. At one point, I think it was 6 p.m., 24-hour rain totals out by 6 p.m. were up over 4 inches for some areas, which is why we're still concerned about flooding for the Skokomish River out around Mason County here this morning. And uh, it looks like we're going to see more rain on the way. At least today, we're kind of going to get one day to let things kind of soak up, saturate, and look at a little drier weather and I say that with sort of some hesitation because there is still a chance of some rain today and we're still seeing a few sprinkles early on, but this is a much quieter and a much calmer site than what we saw here 24 hours ago. I mean, we had that blob of green on the radar and then yellows and oranges. It was really coming down at times. So this is a, a dramatic improvement from what we've seen uh, out at Snoqualmie Pass that the conditions have been kind of interesting so far this morning. I believe at last check it was still chains required uh, for some compact snow that was out there on the roadway. Looking ahead. Here's how we go through the morning. Here's 8 a.m. We're still seeing some snow out around the Cascades of stars all the way through the day. You don't want to leave home without the rain gear, but our chances do increase as that system approaches the coast first and then moves in towards the interior, the sound, the Seattle area, the greater Seattle area by right about that uh, that late afternoon, early evening when you're driving home. And then we start seeing that snow piling up in the mountains again with that winter storm warning popping back up into effect starting at six o'clock today. And guess what? Surprise, surprise, we could see more heavy showers out around the coastal areas. I think they're ready to build an arc out there. I mean, it's just been it's just been wet here so far for our December uh, Friday. Still looking at a few rain chances as well. There's that winter storm warning starting at six o'clock till noon Thursday. How much snow could we see? One to three feet of new snow. New snow is possible for the Cascades of Whatcom and Skagit County. If you're out around Snoqualmie or Stevens Pass, that looks more like six to 18 new inches of snow. Regardless, pass travel is going to be very difficult. We're going to continue to watch this. The latest on that coming up in just a couple of minutes, Alex. All right, excited about those passes. Yeah, and you know, a lot of snow up in the passes, and uh, that's really the big story for us. But it's not our only weather story as we continue to see some very gusty conditions, even yet this morning morning. It's almost 5 a.m. and we're still looking at some very gusty conditions from the system that we saw yesterday. Uh, seeing those winds gusting out around Whidbey Island at almost 40 miles an hour. And then we've got those 20 mile an hour gusts out around Port Townsend, Arlington and the Everett area, as well as Snoqualmie seeing those winds uh, gusting at about 20 miles an hour. It's kind of the break in between systems. We're not going to rule out showers at all today, but I think our chances are going to be much higher after about 4, 5 p.m. or so. So it wouldn't surprise me if you see something early and I would definitely grab the rain gear. 
but it looks like we're kind of in that lull between systems. But there is another uh, thing we're watching now. We've got that winter storm warning popping up again. Yesterday's was uh, allowed to expire, and that was uh, that, that ended here early, early this morning. Now we're looking at round two in the wind department. A wind advisory starting up again. Same time as that winter storm warning, 6 p.m. It goes until noon Thursday. We're looking at those winds south from 25 to 35 miles an hour and gusts up to 50 out along the north sound, out along the Washington coast. I saw a lot of viewer videos that were sent in to me on social media. Some really choppy waves uh, out around the Puget Sound area. Keep those coming. You're probably going to see more of that here starting later tonight and early tomorrow morning. Okay, where we are seeing a few of those showers are popping up out around the coast, out around Grace Harbor County, out around eh, Jefferson, Clallam County, but it's been really limited, very isolated. Most of us waking up to overall drier conditions today. The exception being out around the passes and out just east of I-5, east of the Everett area in towards Snohomish County. We've got some very light rain falling there, and that's about it other than the passes. The pass is still looking at some snow that is continuing to fall this morning, but really, I'm not as concerned about that as I am this. There's our next system, and, and guys, frankly, it's another hose of moisture aimed right towards us, arriving at the coast first and then pushing it towards our neck of the woods here by later this afternoon and this evening. This is going to impact us Round three here. We've been talking about several opportunities of rain. We've gotten that day of really heavy rain that we catch a few hours of a break. Then we get another one and then a little bit of a break. Now we're looking at system number three. And yes, I think this one's going to pack a punch kind of like the last couple of ones. So here's today, five o'clock. By five o'clock, I think we finally start to rally up a little bit of rain totals. A little higher out around the coastal areas at over four tenths of an inch for the Forks area. Now watch how we go into 5 a.m. Thursday. Remember I said four tenths of an inch for Forks? Look how much rain the coast seas from 4 p.m. to 5 a.m. Thursday morning three inches of rain. So it's significant. We're going to see another kind of wallop of moisture headed our way, but it starts late for us today. Then looking at rain likely for your Thursday. Uh, I should also add it's going to be a little bit breezy into the afternoon today and more rain likely on Friday. Temperatures do climb up a little bit more, but we are not out of this wet weather period. The good news, Alex, is that while we see this lowland rain, the mountains continue to see opportunities for more snow. And of course, Hi there, good morning, just about 5 a.m. Thanks for joining us here. I'm Liz DeWicke. And I'm Bill Wixey, and we have a lot to talk about this half hour. The weather, again, a huge story this morning. Katie has that. Yeah, good morning, guys. And, you know, we're kind of in between systems today, but we have got a strong storm. Number three on the way here, starting as early as later tonight. So we are looking at a little bit of a break in between systems. We're at 43 degrees, and I'm not ruling out maybe a chance of a few stray showers today. A few lingering gusty conditions up around the Whidbey Island area in the north sound but a much calmer, quieter picture compared to what we saw here 24 hours ago. I had some folks saying, hey, I got to build an ark. We saw a ton of rain. It does look like we're catching a little bit of a lull, though there are a few isolated light showers out around the Everett area in western Snohomish County. I'm more concerned, though, about the snow in the higher elevations, King and Snohomish County, where it is continuing to snow out there this morning. And for some waking up out around the, Snoho or the Snoqualmie Pass area, you got about 10 new inches of snow up at the ski resort in the last 24 hours. We're going to talk more about that and a winter storm warning on the way later tonight, as well as a wind advisory. Neither are in effect right now, but we'll talk about them popping up tonight in just a couple of minutes. In the meantime, let's check the roads with Adam Gerke here this morning. And Adam, 